Shalom. A foremost, I'm going to start out by giving all praise to Yahweh, by Shem Yahshua, by Shem Rakadesh. Salutation to the elders of the Apostle and GMS groups and ones alike. Teach 100% truth. Shalom, Brock, a thumb to them for their edification and knowledge. And a foremost, again, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, by Shem Yahshua, by Shem Rakadesh. Tonight's lesson, we're going to go to Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, chapter number 8. We'll do a few verses starting there. This is Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, number 8, starting at 1. Strive not with strive not with a mighty man unless thou fall into his hands. Because a mighty man is powerful, man. A mighty man can hurt you. Number two, be not at variance with a rich man unless he overweigh thee, for gold have destroyed many and perverted the hearts of kings. And that relates to um, uh, the rich having money and power. With that money and power, they can influence uh, both things uh, that are good or evil. They can buy. They can buy person, place, and things. You know what I mean? They can buy people. And they can have them do certain things. They can compromise people by this money. Money is power. The one who has the money has the power. In this case, the one who has the money runs the world. I believe that's a saying by um, uh, by Rockefeller. I mean, either Rockefeller or, or Rothschild, the Rothschilds. The one who has the money ha uh, owns the world. You know what I mean? Paraphrasing. So, you don't want to be at variance with a rich man because a rich man has resources, means and resources to either to either hurt you or to help you. Number three, strive not with a man that is full of tongue and heat not wood upon his fire. So strive not with one who's who's very talkative and uh, one who uh, one who's pretty much uh, with his tongue. That's uh, pretty much unwise, you know, or one who's short in temper. So, um, strive not with them. Um, um, strive not with them that are like that. Just, uh, just not with the rude man, unless thy ancestors be disgraced. Reproach not a man that turneth from from sin, but remember that we all are worthy of punishment. And that relates to uh, for none of us are perfect. Because ultimately uh, we all have our, our time, we all have our, our, day, our day and our season. Uh, in this case, our time and our season. Because we all are sh we all have fall short for, fall short in the hand of uh, the glory of Yahweh Yahshua relating to our iniquities, transgressions, and our sins, man. So none of us are, are perfect, man. None of us. Um, and we honor, and we worthy of punishment because of our, of our, our of our um, current state of um, our transgressions, our iniquities, and our sins. Dishonor not a man in his old age, for even some of us wax old. So that relates to one who get who get who's older, you know. Be because one day we will be of that. Lord be willing, you know. Be Yahweh So we will be. Um, 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 if Lord be willing, we will be old. So we don't strive with one who's of old age. Despise not the discourse of the wise. But acquaint thyselves with thy prop with their proverbs, which means wise sayings or wisdom. For of them thou shalt learn instruction and in how to serve great great men with ease. So you don't discourse with the wise, man. You know me. Instead, you try to take heed, hearken to heed, take instruction from them. And um, so you can learn to become better. And ultimately, it's not a wise thing from a spiritual aspect to do that anyway.
resist not the discourse of, of the elders, for they also learn of their fathers, and of them thou shalt learn understanding, to give answers as needed required. Because they learn from their elders, it was passed down, and, and we learn from them. You know what I mean? They don't, without, this, without, certain, without knowing of certain things from them, that was taught to them, we wouldn't know what we know. You know what I mean? So we pay homage and respect to the elders as due. Especially related to this understanding and truth, man. Right? Because without them putting in Yahweh Bashem Yashah put in the elders, we wouldn't know nothing. We wouldn't even know about this. So it's about paying homage and paying due. We're, we're, we're respected due as um, honored. Rejoice not over the greatest enemy being dead, but remember that we all die, that we die off. You know what I mean? Because we, like I said, we put that with uh, Ecclesiastes on three. There's a time and season for everything. There's a time to um, there's a time to live. Uh, let me get that real quick. Let me see if I get that. Shalakia. Get Ecclesiastes. There's only when do you get on three and eight? For this example, a time to love, a time to hate, a time for war, a time for peace. Um, we'll use them as example. It's a time for everything. Hit number one. Everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. So there's a time for season for everything. There's a time for season for everything that's appointed for his purpose and time that the Lord has set for his purpose. There's a time there's a time where war, there's gonna be a time for hate, there's gonna be a time for peace and time for love. You know, I mean the Ecclesiastes three and eight. So is every is every is a is, um there's a point in time and season for everything, for and that's the balance. That's both for good and bad. It's a time for the wicked to be in rulership, and it's also a time for the the righteous to be in rulership. You know, what I mean, an example of that um, the wicked's rulership is right now. And that relates to balance as well, because that's a balanced thing, because. Um, Everything has its time and place. Everything has its time and place in the season. So that's very important. Let's go to. Uh, I think I was it. Let me see if I wanted to read any more from that. This not the discourse of the elders, for they also learn of their fathers, and them that shall learn understanding to give the answer as needed and required. So they learn from somebody as we learn from them. They learn from somebody. 
Um, kindle not the coals of a sinner lest thou be burnt with the flame of his fire. So you probably don't want to mess with that fire. That fire represents that sinner. So because you're gonna you mess with that fire, you play with fire, you're gonna get burned. So you play with that or be around that, you're gonna get burned like that. Rise not, rise not up in anger at the presence of the injurious person, unless ye, unless ye lie in wait to entrap thee in thy words. Lend not unto him that is mightier than thyself, for if thou lendest to him, count, count it but a lost. You're not going to get it back, you know what I mean? So, you count it as a gift. Because they're not going to pay you most likely. Now going back to that verse before that I just read. Um, Rise not up in anger with the presence of an injurious man. Lest he lie in wait to entrap me. So it could be a trap. You know what I mean? So you have to be careful. And these verses that I'm reading relates to the prudence relating to... Um, Common sense, prudence, and common sense. I'm gonna go over some words too relating to that. Using common, these are these are pretty much uh, proverbial uh, wise sayings related to um, um, just um, using uh, prudence and common sense, especially under certain circumstances and situations. See if I get some light. Um, it's a kind of dark space. Um, yeah, this the uh, uh, like I said, it relates to uh, prudence and common sense. That chapter, uh, prudence, the quality of being prudent cautiously, relating to wisdom and judgment. So, being cautious but being shrewd. Being wise, use it, having sage relates to being wise. And another word I'm gonna put with it is discretion. The quality of behaving in, behaving, behaving, and uh, speaking in such a way to avoid causing offense or revealing private information. So speaking in a way for cause an offense. So watch your words it relates to your tongue, and also not 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 giving out too much information. Being um, using discretion about pretty much your personal matters. So that's discretion, and also from a physical aspect, how you way you, way you carry yourself as well. Um. The word for that in Hebrew would be orma, orma, orma. And that relates to trickery or the good sense or discretion, guile, prudence, subtility, willing, and wisdom. Orma, 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 which would be O R M A W, orma. All right, now, now for discretion in Hebrew. Before I get to that one, that would be H um, sixty one ninety five or ma, and now for um, for discretion, that would be um, um, for in Hebrew, which would be H forty two o nine bizama uh, bizama, which is um, some um, sometimes um, good sagacity. Sagacity is um, the state using wisdom, being wise. Um, wicked devices, discretion, intent, witty, invention, kindness, mischievous device, thought, wickedly. Now the biblical uh, definition or usage will be purpose, discretion, device, plot, purpose, discretion, device, evil. Example of that would be uh, the New World, 
New World Order agenda. That would be a plot, a scheme. The biker chip, that would be a plot and scheme. So pretty much you can put that with enterprise and endeavors. Their enterprise, their endeavors, their desires to do certain things re relates to their plots, the craftiness related to their plots, the different things they want to do. So they all fall in place. Um, that was too, that was, that was for that. Now I'm going to put uh, Infamy. That relates to Esau Edom. Esau, uh, Esau, uh, uh, Esau uh, Edom. You know what I mean? So infamy, that's that's pretty much a state of quality of of, of notoriety or reputation, but not in a good way. With um, qualities of wicked deeds. You know, infamy. Basically, a, uh, a reputation or a notoriety or reputation, but not but but not in a good way. Infamy. So that would be Esau Edom, the one who's in power, ruling. Job 9 to 24. The power has been given into the hands of the wicked. He covered the face of the judges. If it's not he, then who is it? You know what I mean? Now, for a Hebrew, that word will be uh, Deba. Deba. That's whisper, defamation, evil report, whisper, defamation, defaming, evil report, unfavorable. That's the biblical usage. You know what I mean? So that relates to the ones who empower the wicked. That was uh, 16, uh, H1681, Daba, you know what I mean, infamy. You know what I mean, that, that, that's the definition of Esau. He's infamous for being, um, having um, a certain notoriety and a certain reputation, you know what I mean, historically and everything. All right. But the lessons tonight was relating to prudence and common sense. Those verses I was reading. Because pretty much advice on um, pretty much um, dealing with certain situations. But, you know, being used in um, having discretion. And most of all, good common sense relating to um, how to deal with certain things. Relating to everyday life. And those verses were examples of that. The deal with... Um, of um, certain circumstances and situations. That being said, this was something sure to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahshua, Bashim Rakadish. Salutation to the elders and apostles of GMS groups and was alike. Teach 100% truth. Shalom and Barak to them. Give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahshua, Bashim Rakadish. The water Shalom. Thank you.